Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I want to teach you how to play one of my favorite tunes from Xenoblade Chronicles called Gore Plains. Is it Gore or Gao? I'm actually not sure. I never know how to pronounce this properly, but anyway, if you know, leave it in the comments, okay? But anyways, I'll be teaching you my favorite theme, which is near the middle. A lot of people will like this section as well. It's really nice. It goes like this. I'll give you a preview of this section that you're going to learn right now, so it goes like this. that let's go ahead and learn this awesome awesome theme right now okay we're gonna break it up to parts so it's easier to learn so quite a lot of parts so let's get right into it so the first part right hand starts on the A just above middle C okay so it goes A G A B flat C D F E flat down to B flat and that's the first part for the right hand okay let's do it one more time so the first part for the right hand goes like this it goes A G A B flat C D F E flat, B flat, and that's the right hand for this first part. Okay, so that's that. Left hand, two chords here. The two chords are G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Second chord is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. So with these two chords in mind, so G minor followed by A flat major. The two hands together goes like this. It's A and G minor together. So together, F and A flat major together. Like that. Alright, so that's the first part. One more time, so it's together, together, and that's the first part. Moving on to the second part, second part right continues, goes up to E flat, D down to A, up to C, B flat, A, B flat, C, D, like that. And that's the second part for the right hand. One more time, so it goes like this, it goes E flat, D, A, C, B flat, A, B flat, C, D, and that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, three chords here for the second part, the three chords are second version of D major is the first chord, which is A, D, F sharp. Second chord is G minor, which is G, B flat, D, and then passing to the third chord, which is second version of B flat major, which is F, B flat, D. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so second inversion of D major, G minor, and second inversion of B flat major, the two hands together goes like this, E flat and second inversion together, C and G minor together, A and the next chord together, like that. Yeah, one more time, it goes like this, together, 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 like that. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Okay, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we've played like this, check it out. Moving on to the third part, Ryan goes up to the G, down an octave to the lower G, B flat, C, D, up to G, A, and that's the right hand for this third part. One more time for this third part, so it goes G, down to the lower G, B flat, C, D, G, A, and that's the right hand. Okay, once you get that right hand there, left hand, three chords here, the three chords are E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat, second chord is C minor, which is C, E flat, G, and third chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so E flat major, C minor, and D major, the two hands together goes like this, G and E flat major together. It's G and C minor together, A and D major together, like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four, like that. Okay, so yeah, that's a bit of a harder part because the is like faster than the other notes of the other parts, okay? But anyways, that's that for the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far goes like this, check it out. Like that. Moving on to the fourth part, Ryan continues, goes A, G, A, B flat, and more than an octave, jump down to the F sharp, G, A, B flat. And that's the right hand for this fourth part. One more time, so it goes like this. A, 
G, A, B flat, and the more than octave jump to the lower, F sharp, G, A, B flat. And that's the right hand for this fourth part. Once you get that left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Second chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. And the third chord is D major, D, F sharp, A. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so G minor, E flat major, and D major, two hands together goes like this, A and G minor together. E flat major by itself. F sharp and D major together, like that. One more time, it goes like this, together, here, together. And that's that for this fourth part. So back to back, the four parts we've learned so far, goes like this, check it out. Okay, and then something awesome happens for the next few parts because it's actually pretty much exactly the same as the other parts except for the um, eighth and last part. Okay, so it re repeats itself. So once again, it goes back to the same. Same here. Same. And after that, okay. So you can say the fifth and the sixth part. Okay, that was the fifth and sixth part. So the fifth and the sixth part is exactly the same as the first and second part. So remember, fifth and the sixth part, same as the first and second part, but after that, it changes, okay? With the seventh and, uh, actually this is the last part. So seventh is the last part, finishing off. Uh, the seventh part, right hand changes, the right hand goes up to G once again, it's G. But now, it goes down to the uh, B flat, D flat, E, and then G. And then G, A, G, finishing off, okay? So that's the seventh part, so it's different to the other part uh, before. Okay, so yeah, one more time for the seventh part. So the right hand goes G, down to the B flat, D flat, E, G, G, A, G, like that. Okay, so it's, you can easily kind of like remember this because this goes G and it goes down to the B flat and it goes up as a diminished chord, uh, well not chord, arpeggio, so it goes B flat, D flat, E, G, that's the diminished arpeggio on B flat, okay, and then G, another G, and then A, G, like that, okay, so da, 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 yeah, so once again those four notes, the, 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 it's fast, okay, so remember, so that's the seventh part for the right hand, left hand, uh, four chords finishing off here, the four chords are, okay, here we go, uh, we have E half diminished chord here, which is the four note chord, E, G, B flat, D, Okay. Okay, and then the second chord is C minor, which is C E flat G, and the third chord is D major, D F sharp A, and fourth chord is G minor, G B flat D. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so E half diminished, C minor, D major, and G minor. The two hands together goes like this, so it goes together, G and C minor together, A and D major together, G and G minor together, and that's that for the seventh part. Okay, and one more time, so it goes like this, together. Two, and that's it. Okay, so let me just double check something. Yeah, so it actually doesn't. Okay, so for the uh, first chord there, it can be E half diminished or E four diminished. This is E four diminished and this is E half diminished. Depending which chord you like a bit more, okay? Because, like, by doing this, you actually blend in with the next few notes as well. Like, like that. Everything harmonized there. But if you do this. This clashes if you play it that way, okay? So up to you, up to you for the sound, okay? Okay, or... Okay, it's really up to you, but anyway... Okay, so that's the seven parts. So back to back, the seven parts that we've learned in this lesson will just be played like this, check it out. Some stuff and that's that okay so after you get this uh, melody and chord version good then you can consider doing all these other improvisations to make it bigger okay something like this let me see you can add arpeggios and combine chords to the right hand as well so like
Uh, let me see. So if you want to learn how to improvise like that, like make up arrangements on the spot like that, uh, you can learn all my like uh, decoration patterns and stuff from piano courses. Uh, but yeah, check out my website. So bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. It's my piano website where I have a lot of my piano courses teaching you how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So check it out, okay? Check out the rest of my channel if you like these tutorials. I have literally multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these for you to enjoy and learn from, okay? But anyway, Anyway, that's pretty much it. So enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and see you next time.